All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are back in uh, the lol patch notes once again. We're doing 14.3. This time around, we're joined by Drew, as always. How's it going, Drew? Hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> does Kane look weird in this picture? He I does look a little weird, one. yeah. He looks like kind of a little weird, right? It's like skeleton yeah. sort of. I don't know. Yeah, I never noticed that before. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But yeah. Well, now you'll never unsee it. You're welcome, everybody. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, either way, I think it was just dropped, so that's pretty cool. We got the patch notes here. It should be going live tomorrow as of the recording. Um, yeah, we're actually hitting it uh, like the day hours of after it drops, instead so of like a week that's, later. That's... Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, this is the highlights, of course, if you haven't seen. Of course, you can read all their explanations and stuff if you want. I uh, got a summer break for Riot. Uh, so everyone at Riot's going on a week-long pause for a break. And then July 4th will make patch 14.13 last three, three weeks till July 8th, 17th uh, brings patch 14.14. So there you go, the exact date, obviously, just in case you didn't know, I guess. And then, yeah. Uh, anyways, moving on, we got champions brands up first. Uh, you want to do it for sure, should I? Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a good question because we both play some brand. Uh, do. You? Yeah. I like uh, you can do brand. Yeah, okay, you okay, do okay. brand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, passive. So his blaze, the mana restore. Uh, it was going from. Uh, it was 30 to 50 based on level, now it's 20 to 40, so they're just uh, removing a bit of that as well, so he can't get quite as much refund. Um, kind of sucks, honestly, but I think it'll be all right, probably. Um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not super worried about it, I don't think. Um, e Conflagration. Magic damage was uh, 60 to 180 based on rank, and now it's uh, 60 to 160, so... 20 damage off late, basically, and a little bit knocked off per level after level 1. Um, yeah, some people have been maxing E second, I think. It looks like, like they said mid and bot, so that's what they're aiming at here. So just a little bit less damage if you're if you're going to be maxing that. But if you only put one point in it, it's not really a big deal, honestly. So should be fine. Yeah, what do you think about these? Oh, I think it's probably fine. I don't know... Uh, the mana restore is kind of annoying, but I think it'll be. Yeah, it is for I sure. I don't. I don't think it'll like make him necessarily unplayable, so it should be fun. That's fair. Yeah, I, th I think it'll be okay. But yeah, definitely not super fun for him. Uh, but yeah, that's all right. All right. What are they? We got gangplank changes. So. Oh yeah, your uh, boy. Uh, oh, oh god. <laughs> e. I just see the little tag on E. Slow formula adjusted. That that sounds fun. Um, <laughs> it's fine. So, it's fine. oh, actually, I think they're just making it well, a lot kinda. simpler. So maybe. Yeah. Um. So it used to be thirty to sixty percent slow on the powder keg E explosion. Now it is forty to eighty percent slow. Um, however, I'm assuming they got rid of that crit chance modifier, is what it looks like. Yep, looks like. So now, I think it's a buff, except a late game. No, you know, I think it's just a buff overall. I think it's a buff overall, because it might be a little bit weaker. The slow might be a little bit weaker uh, late game, when he's got like a lot of crit chance. But I'm thinking like... Do you really, when you have that much crit, do you really care about slow late game? You're just like one shotting people. Yeah. And if I'm mathing but, correctly, then I think it's only late game, it's only like 5% more. Was 5 it was more. if you had like yeah. maybe 100% crit chance, I'm guessing. Yeah. Then... Yep. I think I think so. So I, I don't know. I actually think it's just a buff. Overall. Yeah. It just looks like I a straight it... buff. So. Yep. That's yep, not fun. 80 is a lot as well. But it is max rank, I guess. So. It'll take a little bit yeah. of time at least. Well, it kind of goes the same way. Like if you're getting hit by a max rank uh, barrel, you're like, you might I think the anyway. slow is the, <laughs> the least of your problem. True, true. Point. Good point. So, Good point. I've never been hit by a full barrel combo, and they're like, oh man, the slow is what got me. <laughs> it do be pretty crazy though. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. All right. Uh, Gragas, so passive happy hour. We got maximum health heal is going from 6.5% to 5.5, so just down 1% max health healing on the passive. 
Uh, this should be fine. Not, not a big deal. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Uh, Graves. Another not too crazy change. Um, his E is going up bonus armor per stack. Used to be two to fourteen per rank, and now it's four to sixteen. Um, and I think he can get. I don't remember how many stacks he can hold. I want to say maybe uh, two. Can't remember, but it's a lot. I think no, is it? Oh, oh wait, wait, no. Lot. I'm thinking of his. I'm thinking of his ammo. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, no, he can get. Yeah, he can get a lot more stacks and quick draw. Never mind. That's that ability. So, um. I do think it's probably a pretty nice it's busted. buff. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's per stack. So I think I think he's going to be a lot harder to kill <laughs> like when he's at max stacks with this. <laughs> it so, says this nerf was too high, so they're reverting it. So I'm assuming maybe this is what it was before. So oh, maybe, good. maybe it's not good. super Great. dumb, but I still think this is quite a bit. I mean, just double a rank one um, yeah. per stack. and. Even late, yeah. I mean, that's a lot. I'm pretty sure you can... I can't remember how many times it can stack it, but I think it's, like, at least six or eight, maybe, like... I, I want to say, now that I know which one that ability like it is, I want to say I want to say it's, like, six or eight does sound right to me. Yeah. For some reason. I can't remember exactly, but it, it's it's a lot of armor that you can get off of that guy. So, anyways, yeah, that seems uh, like he'll be good. I don't know. Yeah. All right. You got this one. What well, Callista? I did the Graves one. Oh, did you do the Graves? Oh my gosh, yeah. my brain. Sorry. I was like, why do I have the? I don't like Callista. I'm not doing. What do you mean? Callista. Support Callista. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, attack damage. So we got base stats change for Callista. 61 to 59. So losing to base AD. Um, that shouldn't be too crazy, but uh, probably fine, I guess. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. W Sentinel. So they removed the minimum non-champion damage. Sorry about that. Um, minimum non-champion damage. Okay. This is like a little ghost, right? Uh, no, that's. I think it's her passive where like oh, if oh, you both oh, hit oh, the yes, same target. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. That's what that is. That's what, okay. Yep, yep. Um, they removed the non-champion execute threshold as well threshold and then non-champion damage cap is getting changed so it was 250 to 450 now it's 100 to 200 based on rank uh, which i'm pretty sure this is your last maxed ability so that'll be a while till you get that ranked maxed um non i i did watch actually freak's preview of this i think and he explained it really well and my brain is not understanding what the patch notes is saying so uh, <laughs> do you understand this um non champion non champion damage so i think it think it had a i think it's i think it's a nerf it is yeah it but, definitely is a nerf yeah i think it's a nerf because it it used to do like a, it had a floor for the damage, and then it had like a execute component to it, and those are both gone, and now just the overall damage it's gonna do when you pop the passive stack is is like less. So, I think I think it just is worse. But uh, beyond that, I would need to watch the freak thing oh, too. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. So, uh, basically, yeah, like you said, now. It won't have a minimum damage, so it could do a lot less damage than this. Um, yeah. If if you're just dealing damage to obviously anyone except a champion, and then yep. uh, like minions and monsters and such, non-champion th execute threshold. Uh, so yeah, obviously the execute is completely gone for um, anyone that's not a champion. Um, I'm assuming that may mean that that stuff is still there for champions. I think so. Yeah, I think that's that's how I read it. Yeah, okay. And then uh, non-champion damage cap, so this is the most damage it could do versus anyone except a champion, uh, is now capped at 200 at max rank. Or I'm assuming most people are only going to have one point in this, so this is probably going to be like 100 or 125 uh, instead of 250 or 300. So that's, yeah, pretty decent nerf to her, like, wave clear mostly. Um, and then maybe even taking objectives a little bit. But, um, yeah, just nice little 
little hit just hits to her that's not like super crazy but definitely meaningful uh yeah anyways uh our fates call is gonna have its cooldown gonna be made longer it looks like so 10 seconds at rank one more 20 seconds more at rank 2, and 30 seconds more at rank 3, so it was 150 to 90, now it's 160 to 120. Yeah. Alright, um, it's fine. All right. I like it. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. I don't play Costa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, same, same, same. <laughs> um, Alright, so we've got uh, Karthus, who I do know has been quite popular, yeah, especially, I was just watching LCK VODs, and uh, Canyon's been spamming. Yeah, this us, boy's so. everywhere uh yeah he's everywhere so he's getting nerfed uh q damage nerf uh from 43 to 119 40 to 116 um so i mean the numbers the scaling's the same the numbers themselves don't look like too crazy of a nerf but this is like his entire wave like, like he's using this as his like he doesn't auto attack really he just does this like yeah it's his I mean, only can auto attack but, except yeah like, this is only like exactly so i think like it. it's pretty quick and he spams it yes so uh i think it is more of a nerf than it just looks like on paper a bit uh, yeah. He'll, yeah it'll it'll slow him down a bit in the jungle clear but i don't think it like it destroys him or anything to be honest maybe i'm wrong but i think it'd be fine yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Kinnon, we got base stats, just uh, health getting changed from 611 to 580. So it's about, um, what, 20, 31 damage? 30, no, 29 damage uh, less than he can take. <laughs> right? Uh, that's the English. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Leeson. Uh, yeah, I give him a little buff. Um, base health, the growth is up by three. So it's 108 instead of 105. All right. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense. 105 yeah, yeah. to 108. Okay. And then uh, safeguard, iron will is... No, I feel like... Wait a second. Does that feel... I feel like health growth is... Isn't it normally like a smaller number? No, I guess I'm crazy. That, that seems reasonable, I guess. It's fine. I I remember Freak saying that he they wanted to make him... Like, he's the most popular jungler, obviously, like, overall in League. Yeah. So they wanted to make him, like, the most... I don't know if he said tanky. I think I think he just, they just wanted to give him, like, more survivability. Maybe or something yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, maybe he's getting blown up too much. Okay, so I guess that makes sense. And then yeah. uh, W, his shield ability, um, is getting a buff as well. So scaling's the same. Late game, it's the same, but it's getting a 20-point uh, shield buff from 50 to 70 mm. at rank 1, Right. which I'm assuming you don't max W. I think you... I don't I'm believe pretty sure so. You don't. So this will probably feel pretty good, because you get 20 <laughs> extra points early. Um, you do get a little bit the other ranks, but by the time you max it, it's the same. Um, so it's really just kind of like an early, early game buff. Okay. But, yeah. I um, guess some people fun. maybe did according to this, but I'm not sure. Uh, Let's see. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I don't I, I don't play that much, Lisa. I yeah, I don't assume. either. But, but I, I have um, seen it in like situations sometimes, but I don't think it's really optimal. Maybe maybe in high high ear level. I don't know. But I mean, three more health per level is not that big. Like level one, that's or level two. I guess it's what three mm -hmm. more HP. It's gonna be nothing. At, Maybe it will like rank like I don't know sixteen. It'll be like an auto attack. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't think that's gonna be a maybe. big deal, honestly. Maybe I'm wrong. No, right. it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it would be a huge, uh, a big, a big like buff. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't play him, so maybe, maybe right. that makes all the difference. It could. It could. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, Lissandra. Ooh, hello. Uh, we got some changes for Lissandra. So Q Ice Shard. Uh, magic damage is going. F uh, looks like the only thing that's changing actually is the AP scaling up five percent. So, a little bit more damage on your um, buys of AP in the shop. And then uh, W Ring of Frost cooldown was twelve to eight based on rank. Uh, it's now ten to eight. So just hot, like straight up two seconds off early, uh, which is real nice actually for her. Um, gives her more survivability as well as. 
uh, yeah, locked out, I guess, right? Yep. So. Yeah, I think she definitely needed a bit of help, so that, yeah. I think that's pretty good. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think she's actually low-key strong, but um, this definitely helps her. Makes her even better, for sure, so cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we got Miss Fortune. Baby. And Miss Fortune is not getting too many changes, but we are seeing her attack damage, her base attack damage, up by three. 52 to 55. Ayo. And then Strut. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, let's see what Strut's getting. Strut is getting um, damage lockout, upgrade movement speed. Okay. Um, I'm going to go from the bottom top because that's the easiest to understand. Initial bonus movement speed is a buff. Um, it used to be a flat 25. Now it scales with rank. And you get 30 at rank 1, 50 at max rank. So uh, that feels good. Um, oh, yeah. it'll continue to give you more initial speed even late game uh the max speed is also buffed uh not as much as the initial speed but it goes from 55 to 95 and now it goes 60 to 100 so a little buff there oh, yeah and then upgrade it move speed delay what do they mean there upgrade it, move damage speed lockout. Delay. i believe it means how long it takes for it to go from the initial to the max. Mm, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yep. And then damage lockout, does that mean, like... Yeah, so if you're damaged by, like, minions or champions and stuff, yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. how long then it until like, it go... Yeah, it'll yeah, okay. start uh, giving you that... Like, building again. Okay, so that's this is overall, I think, uh, a buff across the board to her, like, oh, yeah. maneuverability. Um, which is pretty important for misfortune because you want to position like get that perfect angle for those yep. like team team wide uh ultimates so this is uh this is pretty nice definitely yep and they're just like buffing her overall pretty much which is really really nice yep. uh, she's a very like easy low elo and sometimes high elo um adc as well just easy to use and easy to play straightforward as they say and yeah i really like this obviously it's really really good stuff um, I think Freak actually mentioned that they were thinking of, like, at last second before they locked in the patch stuff, so they didn't really have time to do it, which is why they didn't. They were thinking about actually removing the, um, being damaged by minions stops it, um, mm. which is a pr pretty big buff if they do that. Uh, so it's possible we might see that in a future patch, but we will see. No promises. <laughs> yeah, that would be like, uh, that would be like even a crazier buff. Yeah, I think it'd be really large. These are really big, though, I would say, too. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Super nice. Uh, all right. Uh, Oriana. So attack damage going from 40 to 44. So it seems small, but it's actually really nice for her to, like, last hits, obviously. Um, she does have uh, magic damage on her auto attacks, actually, um, from her passive. But, um, yeah, it just makes it, her a lot easier to uh, last hit. And apparently, in the past, this had been, like something that they probably shouldn't do they were thinking but um they're like all right let's try it again <laughs> more or less <laughs> yeah sure run it back oh yeah all right uh pantheon i haven't seen pantheon in patch notes for a minute um he yeah. is getting a change to his shield his w shield vault um and it is a minion slash monster Minimum damage from 50 to 60. Um, <laughs> they describe it at the top as a quality of life buff on the W to bring mm -hmm. his last hitting back to what it was. So, um, okay. okay. I, so it's just going to maybe feel a bit better um, when you're going in for those minion or jungle monster kills. Yeah. I personally, I don't think it's really worth using your W on minions or monsters. It does but... seem weird. It does seem weird. I guess if you're trying to be efficient, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's like maybe maybe if like, I don't see too many jungle pantheons, but maybe it's like True. maybe it's like a like a important part of the jungle pantheon clear. I yeah, I feel I like know. it would help uh, jungle more for sure. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Skarner. So we got uh, Q Shattered Earth slash Upheaval Monocost is going from thirty to fifty. That's pretty pretty large actually. Um, max health damage is going from fifteen percent to ten percent as well. So 
that's pretty large as well. Some big nerfs for him, actually, I'd say. Get him out of here. This guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah. They don't want him to be a top lane for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't think. Or at least yeah, le- yeah, le- more counter play. Yep, there you go. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Cool. Good. Good, um, good, good. Uh, yeah. Uh, Talia. Talia, nothing too crazy here. Just um, uh, probably definitely a kind of crazy. Nerf. So, yeah, actually, it's, <laughs> it's kind of big. So it was 25 plus 5% AP, and now it's just going to be a flat 10. Um, damage to jungle monsters, um, which keep in mind, I'm assuming, do they, do they say it at the top? Uh, are, if I read it the way you read it, maybe, is it every little rock has this? That, I'm not sure, help? but I'm assuming so. Yeah. I'm assuming like every little rock has this. So, so yeah. actually that's like a pretty <clears throat> big loss of damage. If you, if you add up all the rock he throws. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know why they would do it. I guess she's extremely oh. overperforming in the jungle and has one yeah, of the I... fastest initial clears in the game. Uh, because I, mean, I, mean, I saw, uh, I saw Zyra cleared the jungle in like two minutes and like 55 seconds. So, Ooh, wow. <laughs> well, maybe there's a Zyra nerf. I don't know, but <laughs> okay. I saw an uh, Orin uh... clear the jungle in a, in a YouTube short in like, I don't remember the exact date amount of time but it was like three minutes 10 to 15 oh, seconds or something i thought you were gonna go the other way say so like it took him 10 minutes no 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 it was optimized it was pretty good actually oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like every millisecond was optimized it was great oh. uh <laughs> but yeah i mean definitely hurts her jungle i think we've been seeing her more in mid but um yeah definitely the jungler to leah's will be sad about that change for sure uh yeah it's all right. No crabber, so it'll be okay. <laughs> no crabber. Um, Varus. So, uh, looks like a lot of changes here. Um, ooh, Zaya. Hello. Anyways, um, base stats. We got uh, 60 to 57. So his AD is going down by three, which is actually pretty large. Uh, attack speed growth uh, was four percent. Now it's 3.5 percent. So a little bit of a hit there as well. Um. And then passive living vision, vengeance, uh, minion kill. So they're changing how this works a little bit. It looks like so. Uh, it was 10, 15, and 20 percent uh, based on I believe level. Um, um, and plus 20 percent bonus attack speed. Now it's 10 percent attack speed at the first level, I guess. 10 percent attack speed and AD. Or maybe that's 10% attack speed times AD? I'm not sure. Basically, they're giving it... Um... Yes, yes, I believe that's how it is. Yeah. I, I could be wrong about this, but I basically, it's um, they're giving all of this at once. So on minion kill, you're going to get 10% attack speed, uh, 10% attack speed times your AD, and then 10% attack speed uh, times your AP as well. So he's giving you AD and AP now on minion kill yep. as well, and a little bit less attack speed overall. And then uh, champion takedown, if I'm understanding that right, I, I probably said that wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, champion yeah, takedown. Right. Okay, cool. Uh, 40% um, attack speed is what it was, and at the plus 40% bonus attack speed as well. Now it's 40% attack speed, 15% attack speed times AD, and 50% attack speed times AP, I believe. Um, so you're getting obviously the AD and AP as well, but more of course because it's champion takedown. And then you're also getting new attack speed scaling. So now it includes attack speed from champion levels as well. Um, so it scales even better. And then attack speed cap is increased from 2.5 to 2.763 during champion takedown passive. So only on champion takedowns, meaning the passive itself can bypass the attack speed cap. Which is really nice, because they did remove lethal tempo, and that was one of the very few ways you could do it. I think the only way you can exceed now is uh, uh, Halo Blades, right? So Yes. Or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Jinx Passive, stuff like that. But, sure, yeah. 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 Um, okay. Yeah. What do you think of any Any thoughts on that real quick? Before? Um, no, I think it's... It's 80 and AP as well. I think it pushes him more into the... Well, I guess I could be wrong, but I think it pushes him more in like 
away from the lethality build, maybe? Yes, I think so. It's, it's like it's so. like a it's or like, like giving hit. you on hit. Yeah, so I think I, I I'm not sure if that's what they were intending, but I think that that's like what it might do. Something like that. Yeah, they did really want him to to not be as lethality heavy. I would say, <laughs> at least. Yeah. Um, all right, and then Blighted Quiver, the W. So damage was 7 to 31 based on rank, um, and now it's 7 to 35. This is the odd hit damage, of course. I didn't mention that, but that's what it is. Uh, so you're getting actually nothing at level 1, but level 2, 1 point, level 3, 2, level 4, uh, 3, and level 5, 4 uh, extra on hit damage. Pretty nice. Um, and then missing health damage uh, was... Zero, uh, sorry, six to fourteen percent at levels one, four, seven, ten, and thirteen. Now it's uh, six to fourteen percent, just the same, but based on rank. Um, so you aren't gated by your levels; you're just gated on how fast you level this ability up, basically. And then uh, Q cast lockout was 0.25 seconds. Now it's 0.85 seconds. Q cast lockout. So okay. like. Oh, cute cast lockout. That's like maybe when you can cancel out of it, or like because doesn't it kind of like lock you into the? I make a little more forgetting the W. Give you more time to activate blood quiver while charging up. So I guess what's like you combo. hit your w, w? Yeah, your W. You can Q quicker, Q Q slower, Q quicker. I think maybe maybe you can like I don't I, I've never played in that much but maybe there's I think you can maybe like like kind of buffer the W with the like the Q and you have more time to do it now I think is what they're saying I'm not actually sure to be honest because I don't in my experience I'm not that doesn't make sense to me I uh, know if you're a Varus uh, <laughs> champion main tell us if you can do something with the I'm Q-W. pretty sure. Oh no, I'm I'm gonna say this wrong. No, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna tip that because I'm gonna sound stupid. Okay, anyways, yep. Some people probably know what that means. Anyways, uh, yep. <laughs> basic ability cooldown refund. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in the comments below. Uh, basic ability cooldown refund per blight pop is going from 12 to 13 percent now. So, uh, it seems pretty small, but it actually adds up. It's a whole three percent per three stacks, obviously, extra. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. He can he can reset pretty quick just all of his stuff uh, if you're getting all three stacks on before you activate your abilities on it. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for various pretty interesting changes for sure. I'd say overall nerf, but um, I don't know. It could be more of a buff. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's hard to say. It with him, it's it's hard for me to know because he does have so many like builds he can go. Yeah, or like different styles. So it's hard for me to know like what might seem like a nerf could actually be like a buff. It's like he's so adaptable. It's tough to like call it. Kind of definitely. Yeah, he's a pretty cool champ, cool. and he's strong. So yeah, yeah. makes sense. <clears throat> All right, Zaya. Zaya. Um, what do we got going on with Zaya? Um, just one change. Uh, e cooldown is going 13 to 9, or that's what it was, and now it's 12 to 8. So yes. cooldown on E is reduced at all ranks, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the damage is up at all ranks uh, from 50 to 55. At rank one, and then at max rank, it is also up by five, so it's just five every rank. So it goes fifty-five to ninety-five now. Um, nice. Still scale the same. I believe and that's I think, per blade as well, right? I was gonna say, I think that's per feather. So that actually yes. will, if if you can like pull multiple feathers, um, that'll feel pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah. Sweet. I love I love Zaya West. She's she's fun. Yeah. She's yeah. Fun. Yeah. All right, uh, Zach. So passive cell division. We got healing from blobs was five to eight percent of max health based on our ranks. Now it is four to eight percent uh, based on levels. So the max is the same, but the uh, it's gonna be a little bit less early, and it is based on level now instead of based on our ranks. Um, let's see. Looks like nerfing is early game passive healing. 
in hopes of opening up more opportunities, opportunities to whittle him down and push him out of lane. Okay. So trying to nerf lane Zach, I guess. Which I guess yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. I've been seeing him in mid top support, like all over. Oh really? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's cool. never really felt like like crazy good, but I've been seeing him a lot of places. So. Right. Right. Yeah. All right, right. then. Uh, items. You want to start us off? Oh, I mean that's the only one, but that works. Go, oh. go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Opportunity. <laughs> um, I built this on Senna, so okay, uh, perfect. I do experience with this I item. Don't. Um, it <laughs> is going from five. Uh, okay. Well, actually, the the base scaling is the same. The lethality mm -hmm. but um it is it's got a range so it's an oh well, great i can't yeah. put it on sound i guess it's got, <laughs> a, a nerf to, it's got a nerf to range yeah, so it's instead of five to 10.5 based on level lethality it's just going to be three to six uh for range champions yep and then the movement speed decay um is a bit more uh drastic 150 to 200 um which i think is wait that's a buff 50 okay, yeah because the oh yeah yeah so it is it is a uh, bonus movement speed decaying over okay so it's yeah it you just get 50 more movement speed uh at the start of the decay before it whittles down so that's a buff um Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's fine. I, I don't like, or it, it feels a little bad for like, I'm trying to think of other range champions that use this. It might really just is be. It, is it Varus uh, and Vayne maybe? Maybe Vayne as well. Um, I'm kind of conflicted because it'll hurt to lose the lethality, but I mean, you do like the movement speed getting buffed, even if you're ranged, so. Yeah. Um, uh, remind me what, the, um, what you get the movement speed from. <laughs> The movement what, speed is. Um, God, I'm gonna get is this wrong. I think. Or... I think it's when you get a not a kill, but a what is it like a takedown? Take I down. thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then so that's nice, like in a team fight, but um, yeah. it, it seems like they're trying to make it more of a melee option or make For it sure. more attractive Definitely. to melee champs. Yeah. All right. I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah, seems, seems fine. That seems fine. Probably okay. Um, runes. So we got Dark Harvest here. Uh, let's see what we got. Damage is going from 20 to 80 plus 5 per soul is now 20 flat, so you're not going that scaling part, but it is plus 9 per soul as well, and the ratios are unchanged as well. But yeah, you're just getting more per soul, but you're not going to get that straight up um, just per level, I guess scaling out of it and then uh the cooldown is going from 45 to 40 so uh if you can proc it a lot definitely a buff um if you can't proc it as much probably a bit of a nerf yeah i think so. yeah maybe yeah that, i think that's right yeah. Yeah, yeah okay sweet yeah. uh electrocute just uh getting a little change if 30 to 220 is the old uh damage scaling Ooh. now it is 50 to 190 Ooh. uh so buff early nerf late but i actually think that's overall good because it's more impactful early so yeah I think so. um yeah that feels like uh just a buff overall and then the cooldown is also uh just 25 so i i would say nice. uh good yeah, just an overall buff for Electrocute. Yeah, definitely. I like it. Yep. Good stuff. Yep. That's what we yep. like to see. Uh, there are changing some recommended runes. I'm not going to go through all that stuff, but yep, there you go. If you use recommended runes, uh, ranked promotion LP update. Um, players start with one LP after reaching a new rank tier. Uh, if the LP is a normal win, will add up to a sum of zero post promotion one lp will be added so in the specific scenario the players will start with one lp okay sure uh that's fine i think uh <laughs> arena uh we've set up a static free to play pool of 31 champions for arena Ooh, nice free champion rotation uh cool 
good stuff. Yep. Plenty of, oh, wow, those plenty of free too. champs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good good arena champs. <laughs> Is set in there? Oh, God. Set Warwick Vi. Mm -hmm. Bruh. These are really good champs. All right, anyways. Uh, Mordekaiser. Yeah, these are the champs I see every day, every game, pretty much. So. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Please tell me... Um, um, oh, God. Alistar isn't there. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, you've got some balance adjustments, obviously, and everything for all that. Definitely check that stuff out if you're interested. Uh, and then, what else do we have? Changes to everything there. Bug fixes. Uh, ARAM changes. Oh, what's this? New reroll to bench cooldown. Previously, if players rerolled the champion, then their previous champion will be could be picked by their teammates immediately. Now your rerolled champion will have a three-second bridge cooldown for your teammates. Sweet, meaning they will be unable to pick said champion. You can get them back without any stress. I love that. Yes, it's so annoying. Yeah. yeah. When you're you like, like reroll and then someone takes the champ, and you're like, oh. yeah. Or you're like, what I do a lot is I use my rerolls because I usually have two because uh, I've just been saving them up because I don't usually reroll that much. What I usually yeah. do is I'll I'll like reroll for my teammates to have an extra option, and then the one that yeah. I was gonna hold on to gets taken. I'm like, no, yeah, I got yeah. screwed for your for your pleasure. <laughs> yep, yep. That's uh, a good change. That's super nice. Okay. Um. Yep. And the quick purchase panel update. Uh, Amram's boots and elixir selections will now be included in the quick purchase panel to align with the recent changes in the Summoner's Rift shop. Okay. And then I have a hole breaker has been added back to the Howling Abyss. Oh, okay. Uh, bug fixes. Fix the visual issue where the outer turret hex gate will remain after the turret is true. Ooh, that's actually really nice because new hole breaker isn't you know nerfed by having teammates nearby. Yep. So now it makes more sense. That's yeah. super nice, actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So bug fixes, fixes and quality of life changes. We've got um got lots of stuff here and they're making some changes to the mode select screen this patch to potentially accommodate more than five game modes Ooh, okay um yep but lots of stuff there definitely check those books out for sure and we have rain shepherd melio and rain shepherd fizz combine that melio guy? it's uh well fizz is just a frog <laughs> yeah, but melio i'm getting that skin frog friend melio <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I'm getting that skin. Look at that guy. He's so got a little fire sprites, I guess. It's yep. Frogs. yep. Cool. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. All right. And you got some chromas there as well. So you can have them like purple and stuff. So cool. Uh, overall, pretty good patch. Uh, you have any final thoughts here? Any other changes? What's your favorite? Um, <laughs> my favorite patch change is the Scarter nerf. Okay. <laughs> That's my All favorite. Right. Love that. Love that. Definitely. All right. Uh, that should wrap it up up here for us. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it, and we will try to catch you for the next patch notes. And at what July seventeenth, I said something like that. Yeah, and I think that'll be a. I think that'll be a big one because they're adding in the swarm game mode. Okay. Um, yeah. Which is the the PVE game mode? Yes. Been for a while. I want one of those. Um, yeah. So it looks like it looks like it's gonna be super cool. Um, I'd be down to do some like, because it's four player co op too. So I'm down oh, to do some yeah. like uh, swarm content as well. Oh yeah. And such. I am definitely down. Please yeah. let looks me like be available. Gonna, looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, excited for that. Yeah. Sweet. That sounds great. But uh, yeah, until then, guys, just on. Uh, we have. <laughs> I've been kind of busy, so LCS has been going on, and I've not been able to do anything with that. But um, we will try to get some stuff out, um, maybe for LCS. But either way, definitely watch LCS if you haven't been already, and play some League. Catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>